rarely bring things from newspapers out as it's a little enough and I have no desire to preach to you people whatsoever. But uh, I don't. You're part of the collective consciousness. You make up your own fucking mind. <laughs> now, see, last year I did these shows and then some guy gave me a, a review and he said the show was all right, but he, every time Hughes, uh, Hughes mentioned the New World Order, I'd squirm in my seat going, where does he get this fucking science fiction from? You know, that New World Order. See, I get it from science fiction like the uh, Sydney Morning Herald. That, uh, <laughs> Uh, Julia Gillard says that the United States must be at centre of New World Order. See, that's where I get it from. Uh, uh, this is creepy. This is not conspiracy. This is a weird... What is a New World Order? It's certainly not fucking new and it's not going to be order. So I would fucking watch out for that fucking shit. And then there's a photograph of Julia Gillard here next to uh, Michelle Obama and Hillary Clinton. And with those three next to each other, as Australians, you cannot tell me that that does not look like a tub of Neapolitan ice cream. Right. Yeah, fucking... <laughs> That's what that fucking thing is. And we all know which colours get eaten first. <laughs> uh, uh... Yeah, she was on a mission there from the United States. Well, what used to be the United States, it's no longer the United States. That's been destroyed because the Constitution has now been rectified with fucking Homeland Security. So it's supposed to be a Constitution, which is immutable, but they've changed it. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> and she's got some orders in there from the, uh, from the, from the United States uh, to apparently... Uh, to help encourage China to become a good global citizen. <laughs> Are you a good global citizen? Are you? <laughs> sure you're a good global citizen, line up. And Australia's going to encourage China to do this. <laughs> so what's Australia going to say to China? <laughs> we know you people like bikes. Have you got your helmets? Have you? <laughs> Come on, everybody put their helmets. There's a billion of you. Someone could fall over. What are you talking about? <laughs> We'd be able to skyscraper out of dead peasant. <laughs> I not give a fuck about your helmet. <laughs> I suggest you keep helmet for when we arrive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, suspicious, fuck yeah. Why am I suspicious, yeah? Global warming, that's suspicious. Why, Steve? Because I don't believe in it. How can you not believe in it? If you have to, it's the rules. <laughs> the scientific dictatorship has killed God, and now we have this. This is what you're supposed to believe in. The planet is dying, and we're supposed to fix it. And why would they lie? <clears throat> I don't know. Carbon tax. Making everybody self-police one another so they look at heretics like me and go, what are you doing, Steve? This is our world. How can you not believe it? We're all supposed to chip in and save it. <laughs> all right. The fact you could go into third world countries whose industry is far less advanced than the West and go, look at this. We have a UN mandate here that says you're letting pollution off into the world of our dying planet. Your little tuk-tuks in Thailand driving around with their shit engines. Look at this. It's, we can't have this. How about we just sell it to Dick Cheney and you can fucking we'll look after it. There we go. <laughs> and even if it's true, global warming, and I'm fucking wrong, because I don't fucking know either. What the fuck are we all going to do about it? <laughs> you need a transformation of the collective consciousness to create a new reality. You can't just sit at home with a special light bulb and a shopping bag for life. <laughs> I've got a special light bulb, which is about to become mandatory in Australia. Who sells these? Probably General Electric. Is there a monopoly on it? Who knows? But they're going to be mandatory. <laughs> Why? Well, the planet's dying. So, you know, you want to fix the planet. Otherwise, what kind of can are you? So here's a special light bulb. What comes out of the special light bulb? Just light, are you sure? Yeah, just light. <laughs> so what are you do? Is that what we're going to do? Sit at home with our special light bulb and a shopping bag for life, saving energy in a world that's made of energy. That's interesting. I have to save energy. In a universe that's made of energy. While I sit at home with my special light bulb, saving energy in my shopping bag for life, I like to sit underneath it, saving energy while I watch my TV that's this fucking big! Because <laughs> I've got to save the universe with me special light bulb and me TV that's so fucking big that when the Olympics are on, I like the swimming. So I put the TV in its back so I can walk next to the pool going, come on, you fucking bastards! <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's suspicious. <laughs>